So this is a video that I have wanted to make for months, but it is finally here. UK shipping is available on Glossier. Big news, I have already made my first order, so I thought now it was time to give you like an overview of the brand. I have actually tried everything, every single SKU I have tried. There's a couple of lip colours that I haven't tried, a couple of the cloud paints, but aside from that, I've literally given everything a go, and quite a lot of it for about six months as well, because I picked most of this up back in like March time, I think. So I've given it a go for a long time. I got it in New York, but now you don't have to go to New York to get it. It's great news. And amongst the range, there are some good things. There are some things that don't impress me so much. Gotta love a bit of Shania Twain. There is a lot of hype around this brand. It's very much like Marmite. Their marketing is on point, their packaging is on point. So there is naturally a lot of hype around it. And it's very cool to have an opinion on it. If you think you're like too cool for it and you're like, no, don't like it, or you love it. It's just that everyone has an opinion on it because everyone is talking about it. It's very out there. Um, and I'm a massive fangirl of the brand, but I'm gonna make this very measured, very honest, and very balanced. Overall skin type wise, I feel like it is more geared towards dry skin or oily skin if you like to look really glowy. Everything is very glowy. There's not a lot of mattifying things here, and there's not a lot of things that target really specific skincare concerns, like aging or acne. You're probably better off with other skincare ranges. This is for very sort of well-behaved skin, with a couple of exceptions, that's more on like the dry dry, dehydrated side. So UK shipping launched on Monday, but the reason why this video is late is because I really wanted to see what the shipping situation was. Thankfully, it comes from a UK warehouse, which means there are no taxes or customs or duties. You're not gonna have to like pay money when it gets to your front door, which is great. Um, I went for the shipping option that was express shipping, which was one to two business days. It cost six pounds and I ordered it on Monday about eight o'clock. I got a shipping notification about six o'clock last night. Today is Tuesday and it should be here by 10 a.m. And it's delivered by DPD, which is great because I love my DPD guy. Um, standard delivery is a couple of quid, I think, if you spend under 25 pounds or if it's over 25 pounds, it's free. So that's the shipping situation, good news. I also wanted to check the prices. I wasn't sure how they'd like convert it to kind of great British pounds, but actually it's very, it's kind of, I don't wanna say affordable, but it's sort of like Mac prices almost, a little bit under that. So we're not talking really crazy, like budget high street here, but we're not talking really super high end. So that is great that everything is not crazy pricey. Okay, let's talk skincare. I figured I'd kind of go through the routine and just say whether I think it is worth a splurge. The Glossier Milky Jelly Cleanser, this is one that I have ready to go. I've already gone through two in my bathroom. I really like this. I feel like it's a very gentle, no frills. Like It's not a luxurious feeling cleanser, but it does the job, it leaves my skin feeling soft and cleansed, but not like squeaky clean. I personally don't find this great for removing makeup, so I do use my Clarins Instant Eye Makeup Remover to kind of do a first cleanse almost. Use this as my second cleanse. Now this, the Glossier Soothing Face Mist. This for me is something that I think that you can miss. It's not bad, but it's not great. I find that it stings my eyes a little bit as well, which for a mist, you kind of can't really cover up your eyes. Obviously, I close my eyes when I spray this, but I find that it just aggravates them a little bit. The mist is nice, but I just feel like there's more kind of exciting mists that have a bit more to them. On to the supers. Now, there are three of these. You can buy them in a pack, I think for 60 pounds. Yeah, it's 60 pounds for the pack, or they're 24 pounds individually. Um, I bought the pack when I first got these in New York, but I have to say now I would just buy them individually. Um, the one that I'm not crazy about is Super Glow, which is their vitamin C and magnesium serum. I just didn't find much of an effect with this. It's so drippy, but it's pretty much like water in texture, so it's really hard to apply to your face. You kind of have to lean your face back and drop it on and then just pat it in. Um, so this is the one that I would miss. I'm not crazy about that one. Um, the Pure one I actually really like. This is their Niacinamide and Zinc Serum, and I really like this whenever I've got spots. I know that Kate, um, Kate Levy has been talking about this on Twitter. She says it works really well. She had some kind of acne going on on her chin. She said this really calmed it down. I have redness as well and I find that when I use this it really does help with redness it really does help with blemishes again it's that annoying texture in that it's very 
very like drippy and it, it's hard to apply but I do feel like I see a difference when I use this and um, but the one out of all of them and the one that I feel like across the board especially if you have dry dehydrated skin you're gonna love this one this one is super bounce this is their hyaluronic one it has like a goopy texture to it it almost feels like Estee Lauder advanced night repair on the skin like you feel like you're getting hydration it feels like it's doing something it's easy to apply because it's slightly goopier than the others I've already been through about two or three of these. That's the only thing, they're tiny, they're 15 mils. That is the only thing there. 24 pounds for 15 mils of product isn't really that great when other serums would be around the 30 mil mark. So I wouldn't say this is great value, but I really do like it as a product. And also really good for travel because it's quite small. But expensive, you know, you gotta weigh that one up. They have two moisturizers. The first one is the priming moisturizer. This is their original one they came out with. And I just, oh, I'm not that crazy about this one. I feel like it's a nice moisturizer, but I feel like there are nicer ones out there. I like my moisturizer to have a bit of SPF in as well, so I kind of have to apply this and then apply something else on top. Um, it, it's fine, it just doesn't blow me away. It's part of their phase one set, which comes with the Milky Jelly Cleanser and one of their lip balms, if you wanted to get it for a better price. Um, but overall, I would say, save your money and spend it on this. I mean, actually, if you've got kind of more greasier skin, you probably would prefer this, but if you've got drier skin, normal to dry, and you want a moisturizer to feel like a moisturizer, the Priming Moisturizer Rich is awesome. But this is the kind of moisturizer you can put on at night before you go to bed and wake up in the morning, and it, it still feels like it's there, but in a good way. So for me, if you've got dry skin, this is the one for you. If you've got greasy, oily skin, maybe this one is for you. Um, but I, yeah, this is my second one. That's how much I love it. One that I'm not crazy about is the Invisible Shield Daily Sunscreen. This is the SPF 35. It's great in terms of it being clear. Like, I mean, have you ever seen an SPF like this? Like you can't even see it on my hand, you blend it in. There's definitely no ashiness to it at all, so if you've got a deeper skin, this might be one to look into for you. But on me, this just aggravates my skin a little bit. I've got more dryish skin that's a little bit sensitive, they can get a little bit red sometimes, and I find that this does make my skin a little bit red. And I don't like that you can't see how much you're using as well, that's a bit of a pain. I've heard some people really love this, but if you look on the website, it's definitely mixed reviews for this so take a look at those and like work it out for yourself then they have two masks you can buy these as a mask duo for 30 quid or individually they're 18 pounds the first one that i use is the mega greens galaxy pack this is like their detoxifying clay mask i really like this again like i was saying i have sensitive skin so for me this does leave my skin feeling a little bit red afterwards not like aggravated i mean sometimes my skin gets red literally when i splash it with water so bear that in mind so I definitely use this as more of an evening one, and then I go over the top with this, the moisturizing moon mask. Be careful, because this explodes. Like, if you're traveling with this, just watch out. It's exploded in my bag basically every time I have like taken it across the ocean in my suitcase. I really like this. It's just, it's very similar to like the Origins Drink Up Intensive mask, if you like that you'll like this. I personally don't like take it off. I just apply it quite thickly all around my face and then try and leave it on, just leave it to soak in. My skin loves it the next morning. This to me is a really good pick. One of the best picks out of the skincare, I would say. I scooched in a little bit closer because I want to show you the makeup bits on my face. And the first thing before we get started with any of the colour bits is the balm.com. This one is the birthdaybalm.com. I really like this one. It's supposed to be like cake when you smell it. It does. It smells like cake, very vanilla -y. All the balm.coms are a little bit different. The original one is just like a kind of no fragranced lip balm that you can use on your cuticles, on your elbows. It's like a multi-purpose balm. There is a coconut one that I love that I thought that I'd lost. And actually, I'm pretty sure I just saw this come up on my laptop that my mum has just texted me. Yep, she found my coconutbalm.com down the back of the sofa, which is great, because I thought I'd lost it. And yesterday, that was actually one of the things that I ordered. I ordered a Super Bounce, and then I also ordered loads of the balm.coms, because they are my favorite lip balm. I love them, because it's like a balm for your lips, but it looks quite matte. It's not like really shiny looking on the lips. This one does have 
a little bit of glitter in it, which sounds absolutely vile, but actually I quite like it. It's just like a little bit sheeny on the lips. It's not super glittery, but my favorite one is the coconut one. They also do a rose one that has a little bit of pink in it. They have a cherry one, which has a little bit of like a red tone to it. Then they have their Perfecting Skin Tint Medium. This was like the first kind of makeup product they did. I have a feeling it comes in five shades and the shade range is pretty broad. I've got the shade Light here, which is definitely more of like the skin tone that I should be in the winter, but I'm still eking out Medium. Medium is what I wore for the whole of summer. You can tell I've used quite a bit of it. It's a little bit warm for me right now, so I'm probably gonna maybe mix, maybe I'll do a mix of the two. Um, I find this easiest to apply if I apply this like cat's whiskers on my face, kind of like that. That's the only thing with this, I find that it's quite tricky to get out of this little thing. You really have to, ugh, you have to push it. Personally, I really like this, however, it's definitely a Marmite product. I feel like if you have greasy skin, you're not going to be crazy for it because it does it doesn't really leave much of a tint to your face, like you can see. It evens things out slightly, it's definitely just more like of a glow. For me, this is definitely more of like a weekend, no makeup day foundation. Like yesterday, I just threw some of this on with a bit of mascara and was like, yeah, I'm done. But if I had to go to London, I had meetings and I wanted to look like done up and a bit more polished for the whole day, I'm gonna go for like the It Cosmetics CC cream. My battery ran out, so apologies if anything has changed, but I just paused. I've charged my battery for about 20 minutes, and then my Glossier orders from yesterday arrived, which is the craziest thing. I say Glossier orders, because I actually made this order, and then I panicked and made another order of like backups I really don't need. Um, but I thought I would show you kind of how it came. So it came with like Glossier in it. Um, so this is crazy service. I ordered this like 24 hours ago and it is here. You look good, love it. And then you obviously get one of the pink pouches that everybody loves. You get your stickers. But yeah, I got the originalbalm.com, the coconutbalm.com, which I thought I'd lost but I haven't. And then I think this is the mint one, the mintbalm.com. I haven't tried that one before. I think Mark already has his eyes on that. And then I got another super bounce. And in here you also get, ooh, what's that? Glossier U, Eau de Parfum. Looks like there might be a perfume coming. So there's a little perfume sample in there. Right, so the camera cut out just as I was about to show you the concealers. This is the stretch concealer, which I actually think, is it my top product of the makeup? Maybe not my top product of the makeup, Oh, maybe it is, but it's definitely top three. I've got the medium shade here, which for me is just too dark in winter. That's definitely more of like a color shade that I could use all over my face rather than being more brightening under the eyes. Um, but it's the shade light. I mean, look at that. I have thoroughly enjoyed this concealer, if you can't already tell. I love it because it's creamy. It's like a delicate formula. It's sort of dewy looking, so it doesn't dry. It doesn't make anything look cakey, whether you're using it on circles, under your eyes, or you're using it on redness or blemishes. It just never looks dry, and I love that. And I love because it's so creamy, it's so easy to apply. You can literally smush this all over your face. I'm having a bit of redness come through on my cheeks, so I thought I would shove a bit there. So what I tend to do is apply it with my fingers and then just blend it in with a beauty blender. I know people's thing with concealer is always, does it crease? And with me, I have a very deep crease under both my eyes. It's just how my skin naturally folds. So the more concealer I apply, the more likely I am to get that crease in there. I find that it's very easily kind of smushed away. So I don't find that this creases in the finer lines, but if you've got that sort of deep line like I have. You're gonna get concealer in there. It's okay, it's no big deal. So Glossier don't currently have a bronzer, which is like the thing that I'm crossing my fingers for next, but they do have blushes. Now, I personally like these. I'm not crazy about blushes. I feel like if you're like me and you just like a really tiny, subtle amount of color, then you'll like these. If you like really pigmented, like, you know, you'll like something to be there. These might not be up your street. I've used two of the shades. This is Dusk, this is Beam. They're very true to color in terms of what is on the outside. I like how easy they are to apply. It's just like a little mini watercolor. You need the tiniest amount, like that is probably even too much. I find these best applied with fingers. These are probably more geared towards drier skins again because they are kind of a tad moisturizing. I'm not sure how well they'd stick down and stay on a greasier skin. I like that shade Dusk though. I just feel like it gives a real 
natural kind of tawny pink look so that definitely gets a thumbs up from me beam is really nice mixed in with dusk although i feel like on its own it's too orangey however this could look amazing on like really super pale skins or really deep skins it would look kind of peachy which is cool then you've got the halo scope which i would say again is top three for me out of the um, beauty bits they come in three shades which you can see here comes in topaz which is like a kind of golden bronze shade it comes in moonstone which is more of this like white sort of silvery and um, you can't see it too well on here but they've all got this central ring of like balm and then they've got this sheeny color around them but the one that I love is quartz I just find it matches my skin tone best so for me, I'm not crazy about Moonstone because it's too white. This would look good on really paler skins. I'm not crazy about Topaz because it's too deep, it's too bronzy. This would look amazing on richer, deeper skin tones. So for me, kind of somewhere in the middle, lol, definitely pale. I like to take it on my hands, give my hand a little rub, and then I apply it on the high points of my face, kind of all over, just pressing it into the skin. I find that if you apply these directly onto your skin, you sort of end up moving everything underneath. One of the new releases is the Wowder Powder. This comes in three shades. I use the lightest one, which is light medium. Um, I actually like how this looks on the skin because it definitely doesn't look dry and powdery. It just knocks back shine in undesirable areas, but without looking like too heavy. However, I'm not crazy about the packaging. I'm not sure if you can see, but there's actually quite a lot of product in here. There's like a little mesh, but it's just quite hard to get out the right amount of product. Like I feel like there's too much sitting in there right now. So yeah, it's not crazy easy to apply. So for that reason, I prefer like a pressed powder just it's easier to get out of the tub. So for me, this would be, this would be a miss for me. I'd, I'd happily leave this and stick with something like my Mineralize Skin Finish Natural, but if you're greasier and you don't mind this sort of dispensary, dispensary? You don't mind how this comes out, then it might be worth it for you. Their best seller is Boy Brow, and I feel like it's their best seller for a reason. Um, then it's not revolutionary in terms of delivery because it's very similar to the Benefit, like Gimme Brow, it's very small, such a tiny, look like such a tiny little brush it's so small but it's more the actual product that I feel is really lacking in the industry it's very unique in that way because it's almost like a pomardy sort of texture in that you put it through your brows and it doesn't crisp them up it doesn't stick them down it kind of just gives them a bit of volume it's a bit like putting a wax through your hair that's that's sort of how I feel like it I'm using clear here but I do have it in brown as well it just depends what i'm feeling on that day i kind of like both and um, for me i i think i prefer clear because it's just easy to apply brown obviously does have a bit of color to it and i actually prefer it once it's dried down a bit i find that for the first couple of weeks a bit too much product comes out on the wand so you sort of have to sit there and like scrape it off but like a month after it's perfect it's in the good spot there's currently no mascara in the line so i've just thrown some of that on but onto lip products now so i mentioned the balm.com i love these i'd say sort of top okay maybe there's like top four these i use every day the boy brow i use every day halo scope and quartz i use every day and the stretch concealer I use every day. These would be sort of my top four picks out of the makeup. So we know I love those. I put it on earlier. Now I'm just kind of gonna rub it off a little bit and hopefully put something else on top. And um, the lip gloss, the lip gloss is quite interesting. If you go online, the reviews for the lip gloss are like, oh my God, it's like a secret cult product that people absolutely go crazy for. And um, for me, I don't. It's a lip gloss. It's very similar to like the MAC lip gloss consistency. It's sticky, it's gloopy, it's quite thick. Um, I just don't like shiny lips. So for me, I'm not the target audience. I would personally not grab this, but if you like, if you like a glossy lip, I know that Caroline absolutely loves that. For me, I'm all about these. These are the Generation G sort of lipsticks. I've got them in three shades. I did order one more shade, I think. I ordered Crush, which Alana Davison goes on about all the time and looks amazing in. And I thought that'd be a really cool, like berry lip look. Um, but the three that I've got here are Cake. I wear cake basically every day. It's my most used shade. It's probably my most used lip product of like the last year. That just looks very peachy, neutral on the lips. And um, like is more like a mauvey, kind of your lips, but a little bit more raspberry. -er. 
And then there is Zip. Zip is what I've been wearing in all of my kind of latest Instagram posts. I really love this. I think I'm gonna use it today actually. Why the hell not? Um, because I feel like people think that red lipstick is terrifying, you have to use a lip liner, you have to do all these things. This is almost like a tinted chapstick, so it wears off really nicely, it's not crazy long lasting, it doesn't dry out your lips, it's just very easy to do. So I think I'm gonna use this today. Wow, easy. There you go, that took all of about three seconds to apply, and I love the finish, I love the color of it. I think if you like no fuss lip color, you will definitely like these. I almost forgot about these, but they recently launched body products. There is the Body Hero, Daily Oil Wash and then the Body Hero Daily Perfecting Cream. Now, I think these are about £15 each, so they're not crazy cheap, they're not crazy like Tom Ford prices or anything like that. The scent of them is Neroli and Orange Blossom, I feel. So when I smell it, I smell like Tom Ford Neroli Portofino. That's what I get. Mark smells it and gets like really floral vibes. He's not crazy about the scent of these. I like the scent of these, however, I feel like there's just better out there. I'm not super into spending a lot of money on my body care. And I also have like psoriasis and quite dry and sensitive skin on my body. So I feel like, again, I'm not the perfect candidate for this. And because of the fragrance in it, I feel, especially with the shower gel, I feel like a little bit itchy afterwards. So for me, they're not crazy pickups. If you like the smell of Neroli and you're in to getting something new for your bathroom, I mean, obviously these are gonna look lovely in your shower. Um, but for me, they're a miss. But that is everything. I feel like we're up to a solid half an hour video now, but I really wanted to bring you absolutely everything. If you want kind of a quick guide, then check out my blog post because I've kind of condensed this down into more of a very quick and easy shopping list. But thank you so much for watching. Oh, I forgot to mention, when you order, you get given like a 10% off referral code to give to your friends. I've got one. It means you can get 10% off of your order, but also have a search around because there's other people's codes. And I've seen like 20% off codes flying around as well so definitely have a little google for that thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video and i will be back on sunday with a nice little style video shop my wardrobe kind of thing so i'll see you then thanks for watching bye